All right, Adam Graves here on Think Hockey with puck protection. And this is such an important part of the game. Uh, Peter Forsberg, Mario Lemieux for his size, I suppose, but on the power play, you can't get near the guy. And what you did to me was vital first tip, Adam. Explain what you did. All the great players. And, and now with the game the way it's being played, you can't do this anymore. This is a penalty. Every time you have that hand off the stick, you can't do it. So a lot of coaches are teaching the guy to put a shoulder in and then taking the guy's stick away with your body. So by putting your hip in there, I have two hands on my stick. Can't get a penalty that way. And playing the puck. And again, a lot of guys think and a lot of kids think that they can use the rules to protect themselves. You can't do that. This is not protecting the puck doing this, standing facing the boards. Nor is it smart to come in to hit a guy straight on like this. Because one, you could fall and hurt yourself. Right. Or two, it's easy for the guy to play. He just looks at you. You're on tracks. He makes a move either inside or outside. What you want to do is you want to get in on an angle to do that to take away the goal. So you come in on an angle, he can't come back this way, then you put and you take the hands away. As soon as you take the hands away, get your feet moving. As soon as you get that puck, you get your feet moving. And if you're on the boards, instead of standing like this, again, which is a dangerous play, I can't see anything behind me. But if I'm in here quick enough, instead of protecting myself like this, turn around. You can see the whole ice. Guy comes to hit you, you can make a play. You get your head up, you can make a play. Here's a neat one, Adam. I couldn't believe that uh, you showed me a simple thing, but if I'm the defenseman trying to get a stoppage or trying to at least cover the puck like this, what do you do? Well, you see a lot of guys doing this and trying to hook the leg, and you're going to get a hooking penalty. A, a smaller guy can come in, any size guy, and all it is is leverage. Just move him off the boards. It's not a penalty. That's it. Protect that puck. Get your feet moving. You want to make. You want to move around them. That's it. Nice Good job. job. You can get on board. Log on to cbc.ca slash think hockey. Prince, is this for real? Prince played for the Prince of Darkness too, Eddie Shore. <laughs> All right, Brian Kelly, yeah. Ottawa 67, thousand wins. How do your 67s play? I mean, I think of Pekka, McCauley, Bobby Smith, Doug Wilson, Dennis Potvin. Surely to God not. Oh, uh, you have to remember one thing. This is old-time hockey as well as think hockey. And what Eddie was trying to emphasize uh, was body position. So he always, he didn't want your legs to get wider than 18, you okay. width of your body, roughly, okay? So that's where you would have been. Your knees bent, your hands, the width of your body, and your elbows in. So that's why I got the lace on you here, so that your elbows would be in instead of flying out here like this, carrying it in that motion. He wanted the elbows in, and he wanted you to have two hands on your stick so you're always strong, so when you follow through, you're here, ready to protect yourself as well as pass directly. And this here, what he had down the back, because he wants you to be upright when you're skating, so that you're always looking to see where you're going, where you're passing, because a lot of guys will skate like this, next thing you know they're over, and they lose vision. And so Eddie's idea was, if you're upright here, you can see more of the ice than if you're down here. And it's true. Great Brian always talks about that short choppy stride. He didn't want the long follow, you know, or... No, that's why we got the lace on to try to keep the eyes made a little bit loose for you. Yeah, but what he didn't want you to take was those long strides because sometimes you get you off balance. He wants you to be here and also here where you're going to be strong. So if you're going in the corner, whether you're on a face-off, standing in front of the net, you're strong on your feet as long as your legs don't get too wide. You get too wide, you're going to be off balance. So here is your body position, and here I can go in the corner with anybody and fight them off and fight for the puck because you're here. If you're here, one shove, you're off balance. So I'd be sure I'll overemphasize some of these things that he did, and uh, I'm not going to argue with him. They, they worked uh, for some of us. Uh, he made a better hockey player than me. cdc.ca slash think hockey for more information on uh, how to succeed with Brian Kilray. Think hockey. Welcome back with Larry Murphy. And Larry, we've got all the players standing around ready for a situation here where the puck is soft dumped to just at the top of the circle. And you could take us through a million thoughts, I know, but maybe just give me your, your thought process as a D. Well, for any defenseman, they've got to be able to play with the puck. You're the number one guy usually in the offense. You create it. So when you get a hold of it, the first thing you got to think of is, I'm going to make a play with it. The last thing you think about is dumping it out of the zone. Be creative. Okay, if it's here versus, say, down low, what's the difference? 
Well, right here, you always want to advance the puck. So if you get at the top of the circle, the play is usually up the boards, the middle, or to your partner, but it's moving forward. Try to avoid bringing the puck behind the net. You've got to think, move up the ice as quick as I can, make a good play to a teammate, don't put them in a pickle. You're a right-hand shot playing your proper side, so how does that change it? And I'd also like to know the role of me. You say I'm your left defenseman. What do you need from me? Well, Ron, if you're going to play with me, I need you to communicate. What you can do without the puck is two things. First of all, be an out. Make yourself available for a pass. Second, give me some direction. If I'm under a lot of pressure, let me know. If I have lots of time, let me know. That way I can make the proper play. How come you're not going to just wheel around behind your net and be safe? Well, what happens is if you take the puck behind the net, and there are cases when you have to, but for the most part, you give the opposition an opportunity to set up their defense, to get a good forecheck. You allow them to buy time. The quickest thing, the best thing to do, turn it up ice before they really have themselves set. Of course, you're relying on your teammates to be in position, but they should be. And the last thing, Larry, is uh, I found really interesting is you said you always want to be facing when you grab that puck. So the most important thing is, yeah, you don't, Ron, you don't want to have your back to the plate. So if I'm coming back, the first thing I want to do is get myself turned. I want to look up the ice. I want to see my options. If you spend the game looking into the corner with the puck staying like that, you have no idea what's going on behind you. So the most important thing you point out, Ron, turn it up, look at the ice, find that play. Pressure's on, Paige. <laughs> There's the puck, Paige. Grab a hold of it. Get, get your head up. That's it. Good luck. Good luck. Nice communication, Sean. Keep your feet moving. Up the middle. Nice play. What a breakout. Big heads up, Paige. CBC.ca slash Think Hockey for more. Back on Think Hockey with Keith Acton. Keith, we hear so much about body position, about angling. Uh, defense in the NHL has got to be a challenge now. I'm going to be the forward left-hand shot, screaming down the wing here on you. You're the defenseman. What are you doing? Well, Ron, to start with, there's so many great players in the NHL, the best offensive players, they like to be on their offside. And when they're off, they're on their offside like you are in this situation, they always want to gain inside position. They want to get the middle of the ice, down their forehand. That's where they get in the good scoring uh, area of the rink to make a play or to get a shot on goal. My job as a defensive player now is my stick is my tool to check with and I direct you where I want to go by my stick and body position. First off, I don't want to be over straight on. I want to be offset my left shoulder on your left shoulder. So I'm giving you the outside. I want to put the play outside. I'm doing that by my body position and my stick position. If my stick is out, if my stick is out and you want to cut inside, you got to bring the puck to me. You gotta bring it to me and I can use my stick. So the heck now if I put you here. outside, if I put you outside, I got a few jobs to do here. Just hold it right there, Ron. Yep. My job is, first off, is I don't want to drop my head and just play the puck. I'm still playing the man. My body position is between you and the net. My peripheral vision allows my stick to be on the puck. I want to keep you from making any potential play to the front of the net because I've got a good stick. My stick's not up in the air hooking you can't do that or going for a big cross check lunging at you my job is to put you outside here stick on puck so you can't make a play I'm going to deflect it so you can't make a play to the scoring area and if you try to come through me I'm in your way with my good body position perfect you kids one on one let's see if you can be Keith Acton all right as Keith mentioned all scorers are going to try and get to the middle left hand shot means I'm on my right wing here I go and you're taking me to the corner Keith Last point, Ron, if you hang on to it, my stick's on the puck, and I'm in a position to take you out of the play, separate you from the puck, and squeeze you out. Rest. Go ahead, guys. Full speed. <laughs> Good job. Great body position after that. CBC.ca slash Think Hockey. Four more.